Well, today I think I'm going to try to cook a ham in a conservo oven. And it's a country ham. It came from Edwards Hams in, I think, Waverly, Virginia or something like that. It probably weighs about 20 pounds or 15 pounds or something, but I was digging through the instruction manual and found this right here. This is from the old Conservo Grill. Steamed ham is much better. Normally I boil these hams. Well, I don't boil them. I just put them in simmering water for about four hours and until they reach 160 degrees, but I'm going to give this a shot. And I've already got the ham right here. I've cut all the skin off. Tied a loop on it so I can hang it from the conservo oven. And got the conservo down here. I'll get it on the stove in just a minute. Right now I'm boiling water because it says that I have to well, the old-fashioned way was to pour boiling water over the meat before you cook it. That way it seals the pores and makes it more tender and juicy. So, that's what we're going to do right now. Alright. Whoa, that's the hot handle. Let's get something to fix that. I'll just pour half of it here. Smells like a ham. I'm gonna pour the other half on this side. Now we're ready to put it in the conservo. Alright, got the ham in the oven. Put the burner on high. Put about two quarts of water in the bottom. A little drip pan. There's the ham in there and it's suspended. There's a little hook up there in the roof. That's what it's made for to hang meats. It says cook it 20 minutes per pound. I don't know how much it weighs, but I'm going to cook it to 160 degrees. That's what a ham is done, I found. So we're going to close the doors and cook it. It's about 9.38 and we're going to, I'll check it in about three hours. Well, it's been about 10 minutes and I had the burner on high. And the old conservo is starting to steam away. The pop-up pop has come out and you see some steam leaking from around the doors. So now I guess is when you really start timing. And uh, the good part is I don't have to open the doors and lose steam. And if you read the book or whatever, it's got this little whistle there that when it gets low water, steam comes out of that and causes it to whistle like a teeth kettle. And you can just pull that little pop pot out, the little piece out right there, and add water to it to keep it cooking. So we'll see what it looks like in about an hour. Well, it's been two hours, and I just found out that my meat thermometer is bad, so I had to stick another one in there. But, as you can see, it's working. Steaming more than probably it should be. And, still got plenty of water in it. I don't know if you can see from this bottom door. I'm going to open the top one. Ouch. I'm just rolling away. Drip pan's coming. And the new thermometer's in. About 130. So it's only got to go 30 more degrees. I don't know if you can see that one, but it's still zero. So it should be about another hour. 
and we'll see what the results are. Okay, well, it's 103. The thermometers are saying 160 degrees. Wow, steaming up the lens really bad. Let's get back a little ways here. No, I'm going to film that because it's going to steam so bad. There you go. All right, not only did Robinson defend the gay community, he also said this about growing up in free civil rights in Louisiana. I never with my eyes saw the mistreatment. Looks pretty daggone good. It's juicy. Where we all went was farmers. The blacks were. I'll take it on out and we'll debone it and we'll get it ready for slicing. Well, there's a picture of it close up. And it's totally done. I'm just going to scrape off some of this excess fat. And we'll cut the bone out of it by flipping it over and it's going to be right here. It's going to come across and I'll do it from the other side. I won't bore you with all that. I'm just going to clean up some fat and get it done. Okay, I've been operating on it a little bit and cutting around the bone and you don't don't worry too much about all the big mess you make because I think it's got natural meat glue in it. And you just put it all back together at the bone. And that's the main thing we want to do so we can just slice it. We have no waste. I should save that. That's a heck of a soup bone there. So. We'll trim it up some more and then we'll pull it all together and cool it down and slice it up in the morning. Alright, believe it or not, that's what ham I have. And I've shrink wrapped it, saran wrap, and I pull tension on it, get it really tight and pull it all back together. And tomorrow we'll let it cool overnight in the fridge. And tomorrow morning we'll take it out. Throw it on the slicer and taste it, see what if it's any better than the last one I cooked. Well, the ham is uh, refrigerated overnight and I uh, unwrapped it, bought out the old slicer and trimmed the edges so it'd be nice and smooth and nice and whatever. <laughs> so, and we did a few slices uh, just to get the ends trimmed up. And, uh, I mean, it's just, looks pretty good to me. And I guess we'll have some for Christmas dinner. Hope you enjoyed the show. That's all I have for you. Thanks. Bye.